today I want to show you one of my favorite tools. Almost nobody knows about this simple little tool. It's called a hustler stick. Now back in the day when we had chrome bumpers on everything, probably every body shop had something like this. On the Ford line, they had a few tools similar to this too. Well, now when you go to a body shop and you need something like this bumper aligned, they use shims and they work real hard and they end up handing you back your car and say, that's as close as we could get. Well, I recently worked on a body man's personal car and he had that problem, couldn't get any closer. I said, well, have you tried the Hustler stick? And I showed it to him, he goes, oh, I got one of those. It came with our uh, frame straightening rack at work and we always wondered what it was for. Well, it has lots of uses. It's for bending and stretching, but I like using it on these bumpers. And I hate seeing misaligned bumpers. This car is perfect on all three corners except for this corner. Now one way is when you get your rechrome bumper back to the shop, you get two people on the bumper and you sight down it and then you twist it and align it. Well, that gets it straight, but the problem is if your bumper brackets themselves are a little tweaked, this is the stick. This is the tool to get it done. And as you can see, it's really simple. You could actually, instead of buying this $150 tool or borrowing it from me, you could actually make one out of a two by four and a rope if you had to. Leverage, that's all it is. Be good to actually have a second set of hands. Now we're gonna adjust. We're gonna tweak. Here we go. There we go, that easy. Just gotta protect your chrome, protect your paint. A second set of hands is good. Also, don't be in a hurry. If it requires you taking this extension off or the tail light itself, take the extra few minutes and do that. Just to be on the safe side, let's protect our chrome and our paint. So, put a little towel in there. This is where I need an assistant. We're gonna pull right here on this thing. This is gonna be easy schmeasy. Okay. Let's see what we did. Look at that. Perfection. Would have taken two hours to take that bumper off and we would have maybe risked chipping the paint. Here's another quick little tip. This car has been restored from the 90s and it's been driving around all this time like this. I've had people call and complain and say the fender extension won't line up. Well, maybe it got bumped at one time. Maybe the hood got bumped at another time. Who knows? But again, in the factory, they have these issues too. Not every one of these parts comes out of the mold, out of the press, just ready to line up perfect. So you put some gloves on, you get a buddy that's kind of strong, and don't worry, the paint's not gonna crack, this isn't gonna break. You put one hand here, get some leverage. There you go. Now I have a little stronger hands and arms than some people, so you might take two people to do it. And I will say the 69 and 70s have a little beefier assembly here. So it might take a little more. So two guys, one pushing, one pulling. It's just that easy.